Greetings and salutations, YouTubers here and here. Welcome to another edition of the vlog. Today is Zach and Kay's first day of school. Are you guys excited? Uh huh. I'm in fourth grade now. You're in the fourth grade. What about you, Zach? I'm afraid. You're afraid? And he's in first grade. And you're in first grade? You guys gotta fix your hairs. Ooh, we're going to school. Zach's first day of first grade. Oh. He doesn't want to hold hands, he's too old now. They're so excited, Eliza thinks he's gonna go to school today. All right, you guys, we are back home, and I'm tired of these cushions being here. So we're gonna put them back outside, where they belong. <laughs> Let's do that right now. Oh, look how dirty the pool still is, though. But the rest of the pool is not too bad, but that's like the leftover ash, but not bad. So I'm happy that the fire that is near our house is put out. I think the one, unfortunately, up in Northern California is still raging on. So but I'm just putting these cushions back on these chairs because honestly, I'm kind of tired of them <laughs> being inside the house. Sorry, this is like, I'm sure you guys are getting dizzy from this, you know, like catering stuff. Moving around so much. Okay, so. Here we go. Our cushions are all on. And they are looking pretty fabulous. And this is so gross, you guys. There's like little mouse poops on the table. So I'm going to clean this up. And get my other pillows out here. And why are we getting blurry? Alright you guys, so this kind of look that I'm doing right now is geared towards people that message me all the time and they're like, Hadrian, I'm scared of mixing and matching pillows like you do and like I never know what pillows really go together. So this is like a shout out for you guys because if you're scared of mixing and matching pillows, you can just do all the same. And that's like a, almost like a little too safe, but you know honestly it still looks fabulous it's very like not like monochromatic but it's very like like if you're gonna match you match all the way so check it out i think it looks fantastic um it probably won't stay like this but i just wanted to get some other pillows out here and i think they look really really cute and they totally go with the pool so i love it these are my favorite pillows i think like one of my favorite pillows that i got from the goodwill they're just like the water look like of them like it looks just really cool especially with a pool so I think it all goes really well together and then now just added a couple more pillows and I think it looks really fun and comfy sorry like the lighting is like kind of terrible but it's like very overhead lighting right now I do want to get I think I want to put a lantern right there I think it'll look fantastic but yeah how do you guys like it all right, you guys, just got inside the car. Oh, goodness. It is pretty warm, but it's actually not as warm as it has been, which is kind of nice. Um, but I'm heading over to the post office right now. I have a couple things I'm going to mail out. Um, everything else is going to get mailed out tomorrow, though. Unfortunately, I had um, a lot of things I had to do today when I got home. And I just finished them up right now in time to package a few things. And these are going to go out today. And everything else, I promise, will be going out tomorrow. So if you purchase anything over the weekend, um, I will be mailing them out tomorrow. And then when I get home today, too, I'm going to list some more items as well. Because I know a lot of you guys were also interested in seeing what else I had. And um, that way I can just combine all that shipping for you. So, also, if ever, like usually on the weekends is when I list the most. And... So if you purchase anything over the weekend, just message me and let me know if you want to add anything on. And then I can just give you free shipping for that item and add on to the other item and just do um, combined shipping. So um, that's one way you can save on shipping fees. And yeah, but let's head over to the Goodwill. Oh, actually the post office and then to the Goodwill and then back home. Cut to the post office. Woo! Hey you guys, we just got to the Goodwill and oh, I forgot to show you guys, I'm using my leopard fanny pack. I love it so much. I'm so excited. But now let's head into the Goodwill and see what we can find. Uh, this Michael Kors bag. The collar just got lost right there. Burberry. This coach has been here. Alright, let's check out the rest of these handbags. 
I haven't been here in a few days, so hopefully they got some cool stuff. What is this? Dina and Ozzy. Do you guys like Dina and Ozzy bugs? Let me know if you guys like those down below. I see them all the time and I think they're vegan leathers, right? But I never picked them up. But the thing is, when I find them, they're usually in not horrible condition. So, they probably use like a really good vegan leather, which I appreciate. Guess. But well, that bag is falling apart. Why would they even put that out? Like, look at that. Who's gonna want that? Ooh, this is a fake Jimmy Choo. <laughs> it's like the same exact silhouette as a Jimmy Choo. Is this really a coach? This is a fake coach. Yeah, when you see like a monogram, like, it's, yeah, it's super fake. Also fake. Camus Cognac. a fossil or like a relic, yep. Victoria's Secret Juicy Couture look-alike bag. Guess. More guess. Alright, another guest bag. Ooh, a VHS rewinder. Sony CD boombox player. Ooh, a chafing dish? That was like, is that electronic? It is. Are there two of them? Let's check out the price of that one. What's down here? Is that a paint gun? Victoria's Secret. Little blocks. Air walks. Yeah, shaping dishes. $13.99. Ooh, she is fancy on this vase. Dorothy made her $10. That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, this beauty is still here. Looking as gorgeous as ever. Still $100. Oh, did some of her tufting come out? Or is that just how it is supposed to be? Uh, I think some of her tufting came out. That's a shame. She's so gorgeous nonetheless. I wanted to take a look at their furniture first. This is a cool like parquet looking table. Those look like the Budweiser frogs over there. This is interesting. Is that made of leather? Oh, this like container thing is actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's only $75. This thing is massive. Let me try to like move back so you guys can actually see the whole thing. They still have this wooden thing also, which is kind of cool. But like, yeah, there's that piece right there. It's huge. It's awesome. Oh, they have like these little side tables too. I always see those all the time. Oh, like a million sewing machines? <sighs> Those are 20. This Omega one is 35. Fancy. Oh, this piece is still here. I thought this was pretty cool too. Tiki torches, these stools, a mirror that's chipped. Wow, this mirror is kind of cool. They have a mannequin with no arms, computer chairs. 
Check it out, I just found these Melissa shoes that look like rubber wingtips. They're pretty cool, I think they're only $10. Yeah, $10 each. What about other shoes we can find today? Oh, actually, let's look at the rest of the home decor first. Oh my gosh, little bunnies. They're like little raw iron bunnies. How cute are they? Ooh, cat. Okay, so I just checked under here. It's like an Urban Outfitters cat. Super cute, I might get it. Little jewelry thing. Oh, this is cute too. Little wheelbarrow thing. I can pull my little cat inside of it. Oh, this bust is kind of cool, except it's like face got broken. I think it might be Athena, goddess of wisdom, perhaps. It was $5.49, not $3.99. Oh, look at this fish. Is that a bass? This wooden thing is kind of interesting, but they always kind of creep me out a little bit whenever I see those. You guys, this owl. I'm dying. I thought it had a chip, but it's actually like glazed, so it was like a manufacturer thing. So I guess it doesn't go against my rules, because it's not chipped after it was purchased, but like it's a picture. How cute is that? It kind of reminds me of Hedwig from Harry Potter. Hedwig. Hedwig? I always say Hedwig, or I always say the wrong name. So whatever it is, I know you guys are going to correct me. I don't know why I can never remember his name. I read all the books and I'm obsessed with the movies, but I can never remember how to pronounce it. I always think of Hedge, Hedwig, Hedwig, and the Angry Inch. Hedwig. Hedwig? Anyway, I'm going to stop saying it. So, got these guys with me right now. You guys, look at this pumpkin. It's so cute. It's a ceramic pumpkin. It's broken right there, though. Do you see that line? Ugh. There's this cool Nike hat. I like the design, but there's only one. There's actually a lot of Nikes, and they're all like so huge. I think they're all like size 11s or something. 11 and a half. Blimey. All right, you guys. So oh, it has been a long day. Um, I only I didn't get to finish filming all of my hauls today. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to finish filming them tomorrow and tonight and tomorrow morning i have to package a bunch of stuff a lot of stuff like all the stuff that has been ordered um will go out tomorrow so i'll make sure that everything gets shipped out i did mail out some of the stuff today and the stuff that did go out you guys know who you are um what else was i gonna say uh yeah, it was a long day. I don't know where the day went. Like honestly, it just like flew by. It was the kids' first day of school, and I'm so glad that they like all they they had fun. They were a little bit sad because a lot of their best friends weren't in their classes, but it happens. But they still see each other every day during lunch. So that's totally fine. You know, don't you guys hate that? Like, um, in elementary school, I feel like that always happened to me. Like they would always separate me from my friends. Like I would make friends like every year, and then we get separated. Like literally, like I never see them like in my classes ever again like i don't know how they figured out like they're like forcing us all to like get acquainted with like new people but then it was really annoying because like all my other friends would get like they'd be like, all together inside a classroom and then i'd be separated what's up with that anyway <laughs> it's like a huge like school conspiracy <laughs> but um let me show you guys what i did end up getting today from the Goodwill because uh, they are pretty darn cute. So the first thing I have here, I did end up getting this cute little kitty cat. He's so adorable. Um, he's silver, he's cute, and he was made in India. He's actually, he was $2.99. The sticker is right here. He was from um, the UN crossed out the price tag, which is so funny. But um, Urban Outfitters, he was originally $13. So I actually, that's not bad from $13 to $2.99. It's literally in like pretty perfect condition. And he's so cute. So there's that guy. Um, $2.99. I'm just gonna like separate it so I can see like Urban Outfitters and I can see the Goodwill sticker. Is that weird? 
the, the, the idea that does anyone I feel like I'm the only person that leaves like my goodwill stickers on stuff it's kind of like a badge of honor because then people will go to the house and be like where'd you get that and I'll be like oh god from the goodwill for like five ninety nine. and they're like ha ha like yeah but, yeah right like it's not from the goodwill and I'm like no check underneath the stickers right there and then they're like oh it is and I'm like yeah you can find the best stuff there Anyway, the next thing I have here is this new with tags. There's a tag. Nike golf hat. It's pretty cool. It's like a good like um like if you're gonna be like sweating in the hot sun, doing sports or whatever, this hat's really breathable. It's in a medium large. And this guy was five dollars and ninety nine cents. And I think that's a really good deal. It was originally um thirty two dollars. So great deal. Literally brand new. But the PS did is it still at least for me my favorite find of the day <sighs> is my cool new owl pitcher. So cute. This is a little handle. <laughs> this is so funny. The lady at the register was like, that owl is so cute. Like what is it? I was like, it's a picture. And she's like, oh my gosh, it is. And I was like, yeah, but I'm probably gonna put like flowers in it or something. Um, so like I'm slowly but surely collecting a bunch of like animal pictures slash vases I can use for flowers um I don't know if I got if I, I think I've told you guys this before but there's this one anthropology horse vase that I am completely obsessed with that like I'm like I look at it like almost every night on eBay and I'm like should I just get it should I just get it should I just get it it's so gorgeous it's like white and it's like a um, like a chess piece, like a horse chess piece, and it's gorgeous. And it has like gold details on it. It's stunning. And then there's also another one by Jonathan Adler. It's the um, it's a multi head vase. I forget the exact name, but it's gorgeous too. And I really really love it. Um, and I've like l been looking at that as well. I'm just like, oh, these vases are so stunning. Like, what am I gonna do with my life? All I want are these vases. <laughs> so I'm like putting it out there. Like, put out that positive energy. So hopefully, we'll be able to find one. <laughs> and if not me, you guys. Let me know if you guys find one, because I would probably, like, have a heart attack, and it'll be just as good as me finding it, because it's one of you guys, and you guys are the Thrift Squad. You guys are the family. I love you guys so much. Um, but yeah, so that, those are my finds. This owl is so stinking cute. Uh, oh, is that a pen mark? That's weird. Oh, this comes right off. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, like, wash him up, like, literally right now after I film this. Um, but that is going to end the video, but let me, oh, I, like, elbowed Mickey in the face. Sorry, Mickey. Um, let me look for today's thrift find shout-out of the day. And I saw a couple of them. Um, oh, that's so funny. Joy says, I pick up Vera Bradley purses as well. My sister calls them my grandma purses. <laughs> the same thing my mom says. I'm like, Mom, look at these purses I got. And she's like, what are these grandma purses? Who made these? And she's like, it looks like I made them, and I'm a grandma. And I was like, okay, Mom. Like, <laughs> uh, Okay. Um, oh, first off, Queen Sejefi, S-J-F-E, or... Queen's Jeffy, I'm gonna call you Queen's Jeffy. Um, the sunglasses proportionally fit your face to the glove. I love it on you, dear. That is so sweet. I'm like so self-conscious about the sunglasses because I'm not used to like having sunglasses that aren't super massive. And they're like, they're pretty big, but they're like not like my other ones that I normally wear. Oh, and hold on. And dear Molly Ann. Molly, you're one of my favorite people. You're so sweet. You comment all the time. You always message me on Instagram. You got some amazing deals. I love hearing about your vision for a space, and I'm sure we would love any home decor you list, even purged from your stash because your taste is fabulous, even that of your inner grandma. That is so sweet. My inner grandma thanks you. <laughs> I've never seen that Vera Bradley print before. My boss is obsessed with Vera Bradley, so I've seen a lot of their prints. Haha. <laughs> what a cool find. I scored two Vera Bradley zip pouches today, not fabric in one of their uh, current prints, still at a tag for $48 for the pair, and I got one for $1.99 and the other was $2.99. Molly, congratulations, that is awesome. Um, I don't know, like, their Bradley bags are, like, really, really popular right now, um, and yeah, honestly, though, like, some of their prints are really cute, like, the one that I just got, like, that in the video yesterday with the unicorns on it, to die for. Um, I still have to throw it in the washing machine, because 
it's a little dirty on the inside uh, but I just want to like rinse it out first and then put it in the washing machine and then it'll be good to go and I want to use it for like groceries or like when I go thrifting just like throw everything inside of it and then carry it um, so it's like perfect so that pretty much is going to be the video for today again thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I hope you guys had fun if you guys did please give the video a big thumbs up that always helps immensely don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell button for notifications to so be notified when new videos do go up. Don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. I believe it's a haul video and it's a really, really good one, so check it out. And also, I listed a bunch of new stuff in the shop as well, so check it out. It's Hadrian.com. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!